Hey guys, it is Shirley and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today is Sunday and I usually don't post on Sundays. Mostly it's probably like vlogs or grocery hauls. However, I wanted to go ahead and unstuff my 100 envelope challenge. I am so excited. We completed this a couple of weeks ago and I just haven't had the time to figure out when was a good time to unstuff the envelopes. But I feel like since it's Easter weekend and everything, that it would just be a great way to start April. Um, so we have this. So this 100 envelope challenge I completed, I started two years ago and I recently finished and it was the longest two years of my entire life. Um, but I'm so grateful that I did it. It is a blessing in disguise and I am so glad. So these are all the envelopes that I have completed. Now, if you have seen any of my videos, you would know that I did mention that my husband did want me to unstuff some of the envelopes already before I even completed the 100 envelope challenge because he just said that it was just a lot of money in the house and that he would feel comfortable if we would just put it in our high yield savings account already. Um, so these are the envelopes that are empty already. Um, it is $2,500 that is already empty, that is already in my high yield savings account, already building interest um, for a couple of months already. So these are the empty ones, but we do have this stack that we are going to go through. So we should have 2000 what, $2,550. We might have a little bit over. I can't, I cannot remember for the life of me if I went under went over i'm not sure so we're going to figure it out here um i am just so excited about i'm just going to start unstuffing this now am i going to do this again probably not i have no idea um like i said it was very stressful and i I might do it a different way next time. I've seen a lot of renditions of it and I'm not sure. For right now, I just want to complete some of the challenges that I have been doing for quite some time as well. Um, my goal is to do, what is it, um, $10,000 this year just for savings. And that is partly for like me and Jared. Jared is helping to save the $10,000 as well. It's not just me. Um, so I am just unstuffing all of this real quick. I know a lot of people have fast forward this part, but I'm just pretty much, I'm just winging it right now. Um, I thought I was going to fast forward this section, but maybe I like seeing this. Why is this folded? See, I have no idea why that is folded. Um, there's going to be a lot of ones. So at the end of this video, I am going to break down everything that we are going to be doing with this money. Um, you won't see any of this money in envelopes. This is going straight into our high yield savings account. It will be labeled on what it's going to be used for. Um, and that is pretty much it. We are doing our major our major envelopes like our debt our savings stuff like that so you will see that as well um this money will most likely not go towards any savings account because i just feel like i worked so hard for it i should a lot of people said that i should have used some of this money as like a treat to like treat myself like go buy something but I was like I'm the kind of person that doesn't like buying anything for myself I like buying for other people um that's just how I am but I have I have bought some like clothes a couple of weeks ago because I have I still lost 22 pounds I'm still at that medium I haven't gained I haven't lost anything which is really good um so I bought a pair of pants and guys um, I would just say it right here. So I was a size 18 and I bought a size 16 pair of pants and they're still loose. So I'm going to probably have to return them or maybe wash them a couple of times, see if they'll stiffen up, but I'm not sure. 
I might have to drop to a 14, which that would be really good, you guys. I would be super excited about that. So yeah, so I'm down one pant size, probably another pant size. Um, so we'll see about that. So I'm super excited about that. I did spoil myself. I bought a pair of jeans, which I don't wear jeans at all half the time. I'm usually a sweat kind of person, but I was like, well, if Jared and I go and, you know, go on our dates and everything, I want to look a little bit presentable, you know? I want to look like, you know, we're a cute couple, <laughs> to be honest. So, uh, that's, that's pretty much the whole reason why I did that. Um... What else can I tell you? This is kind of like a life update. Oh, you guys, when you are watching this, I plan on launching quarter two scratch-offs um, pretty much this weekend. This Saturday, I already have everything. My sister-in-law just has to print out, I think, four more scratch-offs, and then we will be completely ready for quarter two scratch-offs, and I'm so excited, you guys. I'll give a little hint if you have made it this far into the video. Um, so we have a Mother's Day theme, we have Thanksgiving theme, we have a Memorial Day. It can be Memorial Day, it could be Labor Day. Um, we, I don't think I have a Christmas one up yet. Let's see, I have one that is um, a challenge to save for a baby. I do have that one. I'm trying to think, there's a summertime one. There is, um, hmm. There's an ice cream one. I do know that there's an ice cream one. And they're going to be very affordable. If you have ever bought any of my scratch-offs, you will know that they are $3. Dobby, Dobby's in here with me. They are $3 a piece, and they come in a 8 by 11. Dobby, come here. You okay? Dobby's in here, but Oliver's not. So he's like hearing Oliver tap and everything out there. And my mom is here. My mom's here this weekend hanging out. Um, but like I said, yeah, so $3 for the scratch-offs and they are really good. I've been working really hard on them and I've been playing with Canva a lot. I don't have a subscription yet because I'm not sure if I want to have a subscription. So we're just going to play that by ear. Um, but yeah, so... That is pretty much a little update. I'm not gonna give an update on my fertility journey yet. Um, we do have an appointment on Monday for something, so well, there probably will be a part two sooner or later, but for now, I'm not sure yet. And no, I am not pregnant, so don't get your hopes up, you guys. All right, so look at all this money, you guys. This is so exciting, so exciting. Now let's see if I can count all of this. I'm gonna try to put this in frame, but, oh yeah, it's in frame. So I'm, I'm trying to get like a really cool um, thumbnail shot. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and count Dobby, sir. <laughs> so we're gonna have $200. I have my calculator right here, so one, two, so hopefully I do not mess up. Uh, 50, the neighbors outside, um, they're home, or they just got home, so. 250, so we're at 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, so that is 500. Plus 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. So that is 500. I hope I did that right. Uh, 500. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. So another five uh, plus 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 
20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we're at 2,000. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40. 5, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. $2. All right, so this is our last, which is our dollar bills. We're just going to go. This will be great for my mini challenges, you guys. All right, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So that's 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 50. 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 50 dollars put the dollar bills in a different stack okay and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty five 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 50. So we are going to be under 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So if I counted it right, hopefully I did, I have... Um, $2,515. Now, so that means that my calculations were wrong for what was in the bank. I probably took out more than I can take. Um, so let's see. I'm doing just quick calculations real quick just to see how much is actually in my save my high yield savings account. Um, so 550 minus two five one five wait two five one five oops i did it wrong minus two five one five so there is two thousand five hundred and thirty five dollars that is in the high yield savings account as of right now so we have $2,515 to work with. Um, so let's see. This is a lot of money. Look, I wish, gosh, I need to get some $100 bills, but this is all going to go to the bank. I will probably do multiple transactions, but it is totally fine right now. So let's see, where is my envelope? Not my envelope, but my notepad. So my notepad, I'm just gonna show you this real quick. This is what we are going to be doing with the $5,050. So first is gonna be fence. So we are actually going to be putting towards the fence $2,850. I know a couple of years, the wood like increased drastically and it was so expensive like a fence was probably almost six thousand dollars a couple of years ago so i have not even looked at fence prices yet 
we are most likely going to either go through Lowe's or I believe Jared knows somebody or I know somebody that I used to like do prints for, for like shirts and everything for their company business. And why it has gotten so dark, you guys. Hold on just a second. Um, all right, so that is better. The shadow was casting outside of my window. But like I said, so $2,850 is going to go straight in towards the fence. I have no idea how much it's going to be, so I will keep you all updated on when that happens. Um, hopefully, it'll probably be around the summertime where we officially going to get it done. Um, savings is going to be $1,000. I won't tell you how much is in savings as of right now. Hopefully, in June, we will be doing a six months update of all of our goals that I have planned on doing. So that is going to be coming out in June. Fertility is going to be getting $500 because fertility is very important for Jared and I. Um, so $500 will be a great boost just in case we do go to, through the IVF route. Um, we don't have to take out loans or everything. So that is going straight into a high yield savings account as well. So it can build some interest. Um, debt. I am very, very, very happy to announce while you're watching this that I made my final Capital One payment of a little over $100, like $119 with my magic uh, paycheck month for March. I put that towards the last balance of the Capital One credit card and it is officially paid off, you guys. So we are officially done with the first credit card. We do have another credit card, but I am going to actually jump to my student loans because it is building um, interest fast as well. Um, so we, I have seven student loans and they are broken up into different amounts. So we, for my goal for this year is to tackle two out of the seven say, um, student loans and then switch to my credit card. So that is the plan right now. So $500 towards debt. One of my student loans, um, balance is i believe 700 or 800 dollars. so 500 dollars going straight into that student loan will be really good and then we can knock that off really really fast and then last but not least is travels we do have a travel a little vacation with my myself jared and my brothers my brother and his wife we do have a trip to north carolina this year in october so we're going to save for that we only have to save for our part of the resort which is 300 dollars um if the other couple comes if the other couple does not come i think it's going to be like 526 dollars, and then we'll just have to pay for like our gas and our food which is totally fine um but yeah so that is going to be going towards that so let's go ahead and add that up. So $2,850, oh, $2,850 for fence, $1,000 for savings, fertility is $500, debt is $500, and travel is $200, well, equals to $5,050. So that is what all of our money is going to. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting me these past two years on this challenge. It is just incredible just to see me finish this. I absolutely love it so much. It's a little stressful, but I'm probably not going to do it again unless I do it some other way. But thank you guys for all of your love and support. Thank you guys for this a journey that you have been on with me. Um, and I cannot wait for our next journey for our next big challenge that we are going to do. I have no idea what that's going to be. I think it's just going to be the photo album this year that you've been watching on my mini challenges. But yeah, so thank you guys so much. I love you guys to the moon and back. And I just can't wait to see what happens next. All right, you guys, be safe. Have a great Easter. I'm filming this on Easter. It's going to be uploaded on Easter. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.